Uh, hi guys and welcome to the one, two, three, four, fourth Strelok C++ tutorial. This is a remake, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And once again, you don't have to watch all the tutorials. I know I bab babble on a lot, so yeah. The first time I made uh, the last tutorial on if statements, it was only 10 minutes long. And the second time I remade it, it was 30. So this might be like... 30 minutes long too so if you don't if you already know loops then you can either watch parts of this tutorial or just not watch it at all but I'm gonna try to if you don't know loops then you should watch at least part of it so anyways uh, that's the deal and I'll try to help you guys along if you don't know loops but uh, I think we're everyone here knows at least some logic because if you're into computer programmer you must be a logical person or at least have some understanding of what logic is so a loop is, is a piece of code that executes many times until a condition is set or you can put a endless loop and it will execute forever so let's examine some loops uh, there is a while loop so once again the same as the with the if statements I'm gonna put up uh, a general template for making a while loop so while a condition is true or false or whatever uh, loop statements so whatever you want to do goes in here and I commented it out so that it doesn't distract us from the while. so this is a while loop and so when you get when the program gets the while loop it first checks okay is the condition true or false so basically while say x is less than six so if you had this as part of your program right blah 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 the program is executing it now it gets to this part and says while x is less than six well is less than x less than six if it is it will do the loop statements but if it isn't it will just skip over this part so and you usually put some way here to break out of the loop because if x stays constant then it will be a, a loop forever so you, you could put like x plus plus here which means uh, increment x by one every time you run the loop or uh, x equals x plus one which is the same thing as x plus plus uh, so anyways that's how you break out of the loop but so it first checks if this condition is true or false and then it checks if we need to do the loop statements uh, the other type of loop is well another type of loop is the do while so do uh, now we have here we have our loop statements and I'll just indent these so that oops oh wow I don't really like the indentation here but uh, something like this so do and now you have the condition that comes right after the loop so you can either put it right on the last bracket something like this while condition so now you're gonna ask what's the difference between the while loop and the do while loop well there's one difference so oops let's make this the first loop first type of loop this is the second type of loop so do uh, while loops first do whatever the statements they say and then they check for the condition so do while loops must always run at least once oh sorry they can never run uh, zero times so first they do whatever you say to do and then you check for the condition so if you want to say um, do uh, I don't know if you always want to do something at least once go with a do while loop as compared to a while loop and then the third type of loop my personal favorite is the for loop but it may sound a little bit complicated but it's really not so I'll put up um, a general template and then we'll go over it uh, I++ plus plus. so this is a general uh, template for a for loop it's pretty self-explanatory for uh, we de we're declaring an integer i equal to zero inside the loop we could 
just as well have put it outside the loop. So we can do int i equals zero. And then here you just take this out. But you need to put the semicolon because a for loop takes three parameters separated by semicolons. The first one is the declaration, any variable declarations. The second one is the condition at which you want it to run. And the third one is what we're going to do every time. So we're going to, in this case, increment i so we can break out of the loop sometime. So I'm just going to put this back in here. And uh, for int i equals 0, uh, our condition goes in here. So you could say i is less than 50 or i is less than 10. And every time we run the loop, so it, this loop will keep running uh, un while i is less than 10 or i is less than or equal to 10. So, and every time the loop runs, we increment i by 1. And now we he here we have the loop statements. So, loop, oops, loop statements. So, this is our for loop. Now, how many times do you think this for loop will run? Take a guess. Correct, 10. So because what i is 0, so the first time it runs, i will be 0. Second time it runs, it will be 1, etc. The 10th time it runs, i will be 9. And it will go back to the top and say, uh, well, i will be incremented after the 10th time. And i will become 10. So then it will go back here and check, is i less than 10? Well, 10 is not less than 10, so it will break out of the loop. So basically, uh, this number, if i is 0 by default, if you set i to 0, this number is going to tell you the number of repetitions of the loop. So we can ta take this loop, this for loop, and write an equivalent while, while loop so that you understand things better. So let's put in i equals 0 while uh, i is less than 10. Oops. loop statements and here you have you need the way to iterate i uh, i mean increment i sorry and so this would be a similar block of code in a while loop so you first declare the integer i to be zero and then while i is less than 10 you do the loop statements and then you either uh, you increment i after every time so this would be the same thing as doing this but as you see, this is a lot shorter. You only take one line of code as compared to one, two, three. So, oops, my bad there. So anyways, that's our general template for making for loops. And for i is less than, so let's just call this repetitions. So that we know that this is going to be how many times we want to repeat our loop. Okay, wow, it took tw 10 minutes just explaining the loops. Well, sorry guys. So now we'll actually get into doing some programs with them. And that might be fun, hopefully. So I, uh, once again, I edited them out and I just, they disappeared. Okay. So let's try to include, well, make a program with loops. So include ifstream as always. I'm going to include conio.h, as you know, for get char, because I'm I just don't like system pause and uh, the standard namespace we need that so here's our main, int main declaration and now we can make some loops so let's make a uh, start off with making a simple while loop um, so we'll declare an integer i equals 0 while i is less than this is the number of repetitions we want. So I want five repetitions. While i is less than five, I want to uh, say, see out the value of i is, and now I'm going to put i, and I'm going to put an end del. So I'm going to um, skip the uh, skip a line every time. So, and now I'm going to say i equals i plus one. Uh, say that it's the same thing as saying uh, i plus plus or uh, plus plus i. So uh, the only difference between i plus plus, sorry, and plus plus i is that i plus plus first takes uh, the current value of 